and I, we tend to get wild. Huh. Bring it, bring oil, bring bottles up on it. Good morning, loves. It's A back on your screen with another vlog. Happy Monday, if ever there was. <laughs> this matcha is so needed. I woke up today so exhausted, you know. Beginning of the week, right? Yesterday I was up late trying to get the vlog up in time and it will be up today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Well, at this point, I'm two weeks behind, but still very interesting vlogs. This one's gonna be very interesting as well. We're starting off, it's gonna be a super busy, super productive week. And Lord knows my hand and feet need a little self care. So we'll do a little prepping too. Cannot wait to bring you. And the week ends off being a long weekend. So I'm excited about that too. Mm. This syrup, I can't tell you what it is because I can't see it. It's so good. I think I'm gonna buy the full size. Pour a little bit in this one and leave it at work because that latte machine i mean <laughs> you know the good thing is about being blown up and zoomed in less likely to dox myself so we're done it's after five who am i playing i don't know if you can see it because it's so bright it's well after five i was supposed to have done run an errand and come back because i'm running an errand for work that's okay I haven't finished editing my vlog yet. I still need to do my two pods. And it's such a beautiful day. It's 23 degrees. I mean, sometimes it snows in May. I remember one Mother's Day, I was at church. I got out and it was flurries. I'm like, what's this? Why did my ancestors choose this place? Why did my grandma stay in Antigua? I don't get it. So I'm not going to wear this because I know some people like to wear their skims dress out the house. The most I will do is go to the laundry room downstairs. So I'm going to switch probably into sweats because if it's not sweats, it's athleisure, like leggings. And then we're gonna go to get a gift from the LCBO for a coworker who's celebrating 25 years. And then a gift for one of our bosses who is moving on up. And then there's something I'm supposed to do for myself outside the house. But at the very least, it's an excuse to not stare at a screen because if I wasn't looking here, which let's be honest, Monday night, I'd probably be here for another two hours before going over there the rest of the night, which is so bad for someone who's visually impaired. I need to get it together. Things will get together, you guys. I'm so excited for this year has been one of the hardest but best years of my life. I almost want to like explode of happiness and tears at the same time. I've never felt like that before, but yeah, I'm so eternally blessed and grateful and it doesn't always show. Cause like I said, it's one of the hardest years of my life. But yeah, let's go. Before I go on a whole ramble rant session. Okay, I got my Dora the Explorer on because the first stop is I forgot my wind month. Sorry about We're back. This time we're not getting a Barolo. We're probably gonna get a Pinot Noir, a Cab Soul, or something that's a little lighter and easier drinking since I don't know what they like. This is where we decided on. Next stop, Taroni to get a gift card. <laughs> stop number three, getting a gift bag for the Vino. So ugly. Oy, oy, oy. Oh. Dilemma, dilemma. Do I want to try? 0% aluminum, aka deodorant, or stick with antiperspirant. I think I'm gonna put antiperspirant. I don't even know why I care, because honestly, after 15 minutes, I can't smell it anyway. Really? It looks like it's not used. How is a small one a dollar less than this big dutty one? What? I don't use it like a to-do list, but anyway, I'm back like a pack. Happy that I secured my antiperspirant from because sipping this summer. This will definitely last me the whole season. Something I was gonna tell you. Keep my receipts aside so that I can do all the expenses. And where's that bag? I came home and I'm like, I'm forgetting something. Uh, a bag for the wine. That, that part. Where is it though? I have no idea where I put it. I don't have the time. Now that the fridge turned off, I Oh, it's right here. Durr, see? Right in front of my face. The receipt over here. This is the best bag I could find. The rest look really tacky. Just put one in. 
I hope he likes this one. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon, California. It's always the best. I don't want to just do J. Lore because that's so basic, although it's really good. You can't go wrong. I figured getting what he recommended, uh, a little expensive. Hopefully, my colleague will like. So I gotta do the expenses. I think I'm gonna pod and edit as much as I can and then do this. That's you. That's your order. I just be for real for a second. I know this has happened to you too. When your swivel doesn't swivel the same, strands. Say less. Say less. Just know this is one of my least favorite things to clean next to the toilet probably or behind the fridge and the stove. Ow. Good morning guys. I don't know why but this side of my head hurts a little bit and I left my glasses at home which means my eyes are going to be a little bit more fatigued but they don't really help me anyway. This is my outfit du jour. Just rocking the creams and neutrals today. We also have a work lunch which I could bring you but I can't. I really need to take some time one day on my lunch break, not today, to work on becoming more familiar with the pass system. So if you guys are from Toronto, we have an underground walkway. So in the winter time, you don't have to go inside from the office to the mall, Chinian Station. So it's pretty neat, but it gets complicated real quick. So I'm just trying to find where this printing house is to get something for one of the executives. And then I gotta get back to do work before the lunch. You wanna hear a joke? It took me half an hour to find the place to pick this up. Turns out it's around the corner, so it has nothing to do with me being legally blind, because you know that trips me up sometimes. This is literally just a matter of him telling me it's by Harry Rosen. And there's another Harry Rosen upstairs. Number 11. Number 11. Yeah. Julie. That one, the skin is really, really soft. Oh. Oh. So happy. I'm so happy I came in today. Julie was here again. She's so amazing. We had good conversations. It's always a treat to just do some of my self care for yourself after a long day. So I got a notification when I was at work. Copyright claim again. So part of the vlog, which you guys probably won't even know at this point which one I'm talking about, but when you watch it and there's no audio, that's why. I tried. I really tried to remix the song, make it slow-mo with a high pitch at the same time, but it didn't work. So there it goes. Maybe next time. I have to figure out which song it is and delete it out of my library so I don't do that again. Whoa, what was that? Oh. Lip gloss. This Kaja lip gloss. Everything. So I went to go pay for something today and I'm like, hold up, where's my credit card? Nearly had a heart attack because the way someone could tap with my limit I wonder if in this lifetime they're gonna put money in our palm, like palm pass. If someone comes with that, you know they stole the idea. I'm doing so, 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 so. For the jukebox in my head, because there's no music playing in my AirPods. If these are in, you already know it's a podcast. Speaking of podcast, I didn't check to make sure my podcast uploaded properly today. Although I would have gotten a message from one of my, one of my Patreons if they're so good and quick on it. Appreciate it. So the day is done almost. You can see I switched into my yoga gear real quick, but I'm not going to do yoga quite yet. Actually, instead, what I'm going to do is work. <laughs> the amount of time it took me to run and find the printing place, and then we had a good lunch and it was so nice, but at one point, my like, guys, I need to get back. Kind of a little stressed which is why it was so nice to have a little pamper sash. And Julian is one of the best nail techs I've ever met. And I've gone to quite a bit. But seeing how long it took me to edit yesterday's vlog, I'm gonna start editing this week's vlog now and try to not be as chatty as I was then. I must have cut out at least two hours of me talking. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you guys would connect with me more if I kept those parts in. And I also wonder if you guys would just skip it. And it takes forever and a half for it to render, so catch 22, you know? Anywho, I've been wanting to scratch my eyeball all day. And now I can finally, now that my hands are washed and clean. When you're go, 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 even with my little hand sani, I'm telling you, these are a game changer. I need to order some more. 
because every time I pull it up, people are like, what's that? I get you one, I'm gonna get you one. If you know any of these songs I'm saying, put them down below. Set it to some beta version where it takes the song off, but it keeps my voice on. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, pray to God that it works. Otherwise, it's gonna be real distorted. But catch you in a bit, guys. So good, so good, so good. I only did this to myself. I should have known to close and save. I don't need any pops. Working through our bodies. Then back into your flip dog. Right hand down, pinky touch the wings. Your calves up to be in a pose. Go down, check it out. Firm your inner thighs in. Down with the flip dog. I used to be so good at it. Is to open your leg. And if you're no, sweating, I already did it this way. It has to be you're this way. You're sweating just like I am. Left leg bent. No, stay. Now time for bed. Morning, guys. Another day, another gym sesh. These Gen Z years keep me young, you know? Let me press pause. I don't know where I'd be without YouTube because I don't have the patience for TikTok. I tried to scroll this morning to get some inspo. I swear some cells have died. <laughs> Let me know what your feed looks like because mine, it speaks for itself. But I have a breakfast. I thought about making an omelet, but then I realized I have no eggs and I don't really want to go buy more. So instead, I go waffle. Still has egg in the name. <laughs> such a dork i probably won't eat this right now because this is a lot of starch not that i count calories for anything ever i remember when we were in school some of you may already know i study nutrition and food science they always said the calorie counting thing wasn't really necessary if you're counting how many calories are in your juice that means you're not walking enough in your food okay i guess because you want to make sure input is less than output right but if you're to the point where you're like oh this has something or the odd but if you're to the point where you're counting calories of your liquid, you're probably not moving enough. But let me not speak on that because I don't want to offend anyone. And one thing I do know is being naturally slender. People always think that I don't have the permission or ability to talk about health, but health as well. So learning so much from this, overhearing it because I can't see that far. Plus, I'm clearly focused here. That's my cue to go. Checking with you guys later today. Gosh. spreadsheet i'm like how are you today because i always try to bring a little light in anything i do the guy's like oh i'm very busy as you can imagine whoa coming off strong already then i explain my issue and he cuts me off which i hate i'm not wordy you guys know i do like the ratata -ta in the vlogs but when it comes to work succinct because i know people have things to do and when you start off strong like that i'm not playing with you tell me why Homeboy says, okay, okay, can you just do this so we can both go about our days? <laughs> because life is full of, there's so, there's so much to you that you have not even met that is only discovered when we transition well. Should I, should I, should I? Get a full size of the toasted marshmallow, wherever it is. Or should I wait till I finish all of the samplers before buying? Lord knows. Or I try something else too. I also need to re up on some coffee, but I don't know what flavor I want to get today. Pistachio is really good. Heel toe your foot all the way, all the way from the crown out your left big toe. And we'll start to crawl forward. So when I. Oh. What is that? Oh my god. Oh. It looks like my toe died and we painted over it. I didn't even realize. And she asked me if it was too thin. And I didn't bother zooming in because my camera wasn't clear. Otherwise, I would have known. Oh my gosh, this looks so bad, guys. I have a black toe. Oh my goodness, are you serious? 
Chucks. See, I should have just told her I was legally blind. It, you can open actively. You can use your hands here. Bringing your hips all the way. When you start to open up, these stretches are too much. Or squeeze out of them. They're always too much. So you need to ease down onto your forearms. Ooh. Your knees. You have some tension in your body. Now, time to shower and log in. You're probably not going to see much of me today since it's going to be a repeat of yesterday and I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. I dream of work. I do not dream of labor, but apparently I, my subconscious literally dreams of work. If I told you the types of dreams I was having before I got up today, I don't know what's worse, that or... I realized I missed the brows again, second day in the row. It's okay, because when they're freshly done, they look good. It's nice to at least brush them though. Thank God for my bag of backups. Sephora is not on the menu for today. I might go to the grocery store, which is on the way to Sephora, but it's always better to have your backups on deck, like back stock in a store. Ooh, it's chilly in here. Let me throw this on real quick. I took the temperature last night. It was 16. I couldn't believe it. In May, I guess that's okay. I think I've just been frozen in here for so long. I'm used to it. I'll never forget wearing my winter coat on Christmas night, though. Hopefully this time next year things are way better because I can't stay here. I don't know if you can hear the banging, but they're renovating a unit down the hall. I remember it was a year and a half ago I asked her if I could move to a one bedroom. Actually it was more than that because it was at the peak of the pan when they had 40 vacancies and she's like, yeah, sure. And then she said, this is a building manager. Then she said, actually this place is too big for you, the one with the walk-in closet. And I thought, how are you telling me that? And I realized all the one bedrooms that they rented out since then have with have been with can I speak today? <laughs> have been with couples and like families basically. So I guess to charge a higher weight, but if I can pay, I can pay. I didn't really understand. She tried to offer me the bachelor twice. Actually the one Kevin lives in. I told her no, why would I pay more to live in the same square footage when I never wanted to be here in the first place? So I kept asking and she's like, I promise I'll keep one for you. A year and a half, I'm freezing in this unit. So cute move. I think that's what that means. You can let me know. But yeah, let's get this show on the road. Then there's the door. Don't even, don't even get me started. Just keep it moving. I also got my wax. I'll explain more later. I don't got time for that. So Today on the menu is the Grand Cru Unflavored Matcha, which I will flavor up with whatever syrup my hand picks up. <laughs> That's the thing about being legally blind. You literally blindly pick. You know when they say a blind date? <laughs> well, I know that's not what they meant. I'm guessing this is peppermint because it's clear. I don't want a peppermint matcha. So let's do this one, which I did find the full size last night when I went, but it was $15. Cha, I can find it for cheaper on Amazon. We'll see that now I'm part of the problem. The reason why a lot of companies can't thrive is because Amazon took over the same way Walmart does. But let me not go on a tangent. Where's the cat for that? It feels like it's, hold on. Yep. This Caribbean feels cold. No, it's actually, actually cold. It's probably like, hey Siri. I don't even know where my device is. I didn't even know it did this. That's so crazy. You heard me say, I don't even know where my device is. And then it started to look, what? Okay, I'm not mad at that. Some people would be creeped out. I know all this conversation about AI, a lot of people fair on the side of negativity. It's coming for our jobs. It's taking away privacy, this, that, and the third, which are all true and all valid. Don't let it be mistaken. But let me sip while I chat with you because I can't do this for too long. Sorry guys, this is gonna be a very short vlog, I can already tell. I need to mix it. So, but I wanna look on the bright side because there's no better time to be alive. Think about all the things that AI can do to help us live life. Personally for me, once self-driving cars are actually that self-driving, if they don't find a cure for my eye disease, I'll actually be able to get around the city without being on the ratchet TTC. And then having even more intuitive smart homes, although I don't even have that yet. One day I will have a smart home 
and I'll be able to set my oven by just saying, hey, set to 350 instead of straining to try to see and then still putting it at the wrong temperature. Like there's so many things and it's not even just being visually embarrassed. Seriously, there's so many things and I just, I don't know if it's because of where I'm at in my life. I don't know if it's the disability or if it's because even when I was little, I was always obsessed with technology, always. I think I got it from my dad. He was always on the next phone wave. So I've always been into the next best, which is why I don't buy old iPhones. I don't buy old cameras. I will save up to buy the newest computer because I want to see. And the way I see it too, <clears throat> I feel like I'm all over the place because I'm so excited. The way I see it, when it comes to tech, what they're giving you today, they worked on like five years ago. So this is not even the best right now. And this is an old phone. I'm gonna get a new one hopefully in the fall. But I like to also keep my phones for at least three years because I buy them outright and it's such a waste. Like, you know how hard the people in China who put it together work? I'm not getting a new one every year. But when I do, I always get the brand new. I'll never get the old version because what, you save $100 and then it slows down on you after a year? Make that make sense. But let me not go on a tech tangent because you know, if you know about the what in the news back in the day, then you know. Let's see, maybe I have to add a different syrup because I'm not really tasting it. Yeah, I can't taste it all, it's so weird. That matcha is strong, that's probably why. Did I get a full bottle of kombucha? Or just a personal size? You know, I'm obsessed with one of these flavors. I think it's this one. Oh my gosh. So here goes me trying to pick up the bananas. Then I dropped the blueberries all over the floor. I'm trying to pick it up and Oli's like, leave it, he's getting the broom, leave it, it's his job. I'm like, I don't want to give him more work to do. Then I just went to Rexall to look for a couple of stuff. And as I was looking, the lady was watching me and I'm like, are you serious? I can't say that's the first time, but it's been a long time since someone tried to profile me. What is giving teeth? I've never stolen in my life. In fact, the one time that I did, I think I was three or four and I just took bubble gum from the corner store because I assumed my mom was talking to the cashier. That was payment. I didn't know about money back then, but the way she beat me, <laughs> Never teeth again. So anyway, say that to say that was kind of weird, but it's okay, it's whatever. I remember working in retail and they would tell us, you know, you have to be eye, head on swivel, eyes always watching, and they'd tell us how to profile people. Spoiler alert, the ones they told us to profile were the ones that never teeth. It was always the same type of person, which we're not gonna get into right now. Let me put this in the freezer. We're not getting back on it. Sandwiches, which I'm not interested in. It's really nice chilled. We're back at Bar Bolo. I don't know if you remember this place. We came here after the we launch last October. I'm gonna call it like a kind of vibe. I'm not really like anybody wanna go. Friday, so I hope that your Friday is going well. Well, why am I saying it like that? By the time you guys watch this, it's a whole nother day. It's probably weeks away, let's be real, because I haven't even gotten to edit the vlog that I need to be editing. You saw it out last night, and I am exhausted. I woke up at 6 a.m. and then again at 7, like, why? Why? Why am I trying to act like I'm still 25? But it was so good to catch up with Sam. I haven't seen her since her birthday. It was a last minute thing. We literally met up. I got ready in 10 minutes. That's why you got to stay ready. Luckily, my hair was curled from earlier in the day because if I had it, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And we went to Bar Bolo, which I told you I've been before. So it wasn't like super fancy. It's like a nice spot, which was good since where we originally met up was like Yorkville. If you know, you know, super, super posh and bougie. So I wasn't really I wasn't really sure what vibe we were gonna get into last night, but I'm glad we picked that place and we went back. Food was ah, so good, so good. I haven't even like all I had is a muffin today because I'm still kind of full from it from yesterday. Anyway, 
I'll check in with you guys probably at the end of the day. Let's get this long weekend started. Why do I feel so cold though? Like, you know what? Every May 2 4 weekend is either freezing cold or pouring rain. So, as long as we have sun, I'm happy. As soon as I went to show you and tell you why I was in the aloe again, battery drained, shut off, grand opening, grand closing. So, you saw that I was there. I was looking to find a bra that. No one cares. The moment is past. I don't feel like explaining that, but I will tell you that I went to the bulk barn to get cake flour and bread flour, and then my favorite trail mix, yum yum yum. It's literally called yum yum yum. <laughs> they were doing the most with that. But I'm gonna try my luck at making those chocolate chip cookies again. That now that I think about it, I probably cut out of that vlog. <laughs> Insert clips here, or maybe don't, no, because that's too much for editing Alicia to do. I will do the prep tonight before I go to bed, but it's not even that much to show you. It's a lot more to edit and get the angles and all of that. So I'll just do it real quick and then you'll see the finished product tomorrow. It takes 24 hours for the batter to set. But tonight is going to be a very chill night. I am so tempted to go crazy editing the vlog and my three shorts, TikToks and Reels, but I feel it might be better to just wind down. I've been staring at the screen all day. I went outside to get fresh air and take a break. I don't think it makes sense to tap back in over there and go ham, but at the same time, things need to get done. So we'll see. Speaking about what we'll see, I have two strands of hair that I cannot see to pluck, but I feel them. I'm gonna sugar it and I'll show you. I used to, I don't know if I still have a dedicated video up on how I used to sugar. <laughs> so this will be the same thing, but in 2023 instead of 2013 or however long ago it was. So we'll do that later, but first, let's make a green juice. Half the things I wanted to do last night didn't. I got caught up with Bridgerton, or rather Queen Charlotte. I don't even like them kind of shows, but that's how you know I needed a break. Because when I watch TV like that, I don't Netflix and chill, you know? Anyway, I always think it's a waste of the vision I have left, but that's a story for another day. I just finished editing this vlog. I have never felt this sense of relief. Who am I lying to? I feel this sense of relief every time I finish a vlog until I realize I have two other ones I gotta edit. But the ironic part is this scene right here is giving vlogception. I'm complaining about editing a video before editing the vlog before this one. If only past Alicia knew how behind she really was. I still got two more vlogs to edit to be back on track. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna take a little break. You see that I'm dressed fancy because we're going out tonight. A little later on today. It actually started off being a super duper gloomy day. I love me a good rainy day. It puts me in such a relaxing, restful mood. But now when I have to go and get things done, you know, so I'm happy that it's starting to be sunny at least. Hopefully enough to switch these to sunglasses and not worry about my hair. Well, it was super curled this morning, but uh, I didn't put enough hairspray. Anyway, I'm gonna steam this dress because in the time I've been sitting in it, it kind of got a little wrinkly and I want to take an Instagram pic at this restaurant that David picked for tonight, so. I looked at the menu and I have no clue. So you're gonna have to help me choose because I don't know about Lebanese food. I don't know, I'm not really, I've never tried it. It could be like the best food ever. I'm open and willing to find out though. So I'm gonna bring you guys when we go. But I just wanted to check in before because I know some of you guys have said, you just show us places and you don't tell us where we're going. Ironically enough, in this vlog, I explained every single thing before I did it but then I cut it out because it takes way too long. My vlog was an hour and 42 minutes and I got it down to 38 by not having segments like this in the mix. So I'm gonna have to figure it out. Always a work in progress. Oh, 
So what do you want? Was it salmon I loved Chris Brown when I was 17. I go for Steph that, Curry. Ew. The basketball He's such a dork. I like him as like couple goals because him and Aisha are good, but. Who are you? He has a whole wife, Aisha Curry. Come on. Yeah. Oh, is this Nappy Boy? I used to love this song with Chris Brown. We walk around that area. No, we never walk around there at nighttime. Somebody else. They're playing the tunes right now. I haven't heard John be out in years. We're in a time capsule right now. We're in a time capsule right now. This one, no? The music? Yeah. It's just me taking care of sleeping there, don't worry. after midnight and beyond exhausted so let's wrap it up here hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me until next time stay safe stay sane stay blessed love and later